Hello, everybody, and welcome. Thanks for joining me. Um, this is my Mental Math and Magician course, and here's what you're going to be able to do by the end of this course. We're going to take all the tips and tricks from speed math people, and um, we're going to help you to go step by step and get a better sense of number, get ready for the common core. You're going to be able to, my favorite part of this is you really get to invent your own ways of doing math problems. And later on, I'll show you some tricks fourth graders have taught me that I still use that are amazing and they work. Um, it's going to make math creative and fun. And it's going to help you to do math problems that you probably do right now on paper that you can do them in your head really, really quickly. So thanks for joining us. Let's get started. In this first lesson, we're going to really talk about lesson one is called Take It Easy. And I'm calling it that because I see so many math students who have a difficult time. They take the hard route. And we're going to take, I'm going to show you how to take the easy route. And if you realize that in certain math problems, the order does not matter, you can make them a lot easier. So that's what lesson one is all about. And it's all about, we're going to start with really place value. All right, so all of the things in this course really rely on understanding this place value that in math, all the numbers that have a place have a value. So I'm just going to draw a little mind map here. Place value. If they have a place, they're going to have value. You need to understand that because students that don't understand place value tend to struggle. And so let's throw two terms in here um, to get you started because we might be using them a lot so it's good to know them. The first term is expanded. And I'm going to write this really strange. I'm going to stretch it out because the word, that's kind of what it means. To expand something, it means to stretch it out. I'm running out of room here, but expanded form. And I'm going to go make it really long. Expanded form is the stretched out form of numbers. Um, you know, in the real world, we don't really use expanded form and write it all out. But we mental math, in mental math, it comes in really handy. So you do it in your head, um, and it's really handy. So there's expanded form. Then... Just switching colors because it's a new topic. I'm going to make another branch over here. And that's standard. We're going to talk about standard form. Standard form. Sorry about that R. And this is just the normal form. It's the ordinary form. So let's just look at this. So let's take a number like 132. Yep, that's standard form. Most That's what you do all the time. It's the normal form. Expanded form is just where you've probably seen this already, where you take out this 100 and you write plus 30 plus 2. So you're expanding it out. So this idea is going to be used all throughout this course. So it's good to know these two worms. Worms, not worms, words. These two terms, we should say. Words and terms, you got worms. It's expanded form and standard form. All right, now remember this lesson's about taking it easy. And um, mental math, if you want it to be really magical where the numbers move around, you can't go in one order. Now you could start over here and go backwards, but when we're doing mental math tricks, it's good to kind of put things in categories by their place value. So if you look here, two zeros always tell you it's 100. You've got 300 and 500. Now to me, and to, to, to make it quicker, and you're going to see this in a second, we're going to start really easy. I know this is an easy problem everybody can do, but uh, I'm just illustrating with this problem. If you take these two numbers and put them together, so you hold that 800, 500 and 300 is 800. You hold it in your head. So let's make a little thought bubble there. You're done with these. So you kind of hold that. So do one thing at a time and then 
hit the other one. So now you have 840, and that's simple. You take, kind of put the numbers that are in the same category, do those together, and then go to whatever one you feel is the easiest next. All right, here's one. Take take a minute to try to do it in your head. Now start over here. Take the easy route. You can start here or here probably. You could start there if that's easier for you, but in a minute you're going to see why it's probably better to start from the left. 400 and 100. You kind of hold that answer in your head, and I know this is super easy, but we're going to get harder in a second. 500. And then you put that one with it, 550. It's almost as easy as reading it. Let's get started on some that get a little more challenging. All right, take a look at this one. 500 plus 30 plus 400. What order would you do this in? Hmm. Now, to show you, you could. it's probably better. Do you see these are in the same category, hundreds? So you probably want to put those together. You get your 900, and then you add it to the 30. So you hold this one one time in your head, and then go to the 30. Again, I know this is super easy for you, 930, but it's going to help you later on in some of the things we get to. How about this one? 8,000. Now we've got a new category, the thousands. And I like to put the thousands together. 8,000, 1,000, 9,000, 50. Get in the hang of it. Just make sure you can write it the correct way in standard form. Quick quiz. What's this called? It's stretched out, expanded form. Awesome. All right, here's another example. Take the easy route. Maybe put these together first. That gives you 800. Then you just read this one, 4,800. Great. All right, here's another one. Give it a try. All right, I'll show you how I did this one. Let's see, how would I do this? I've got 5,480. 5,480. That's the order I went. You might have gone 80, 480 plus 5,000. That seems a little hard for me, but um, why don't you share with your group or someone around you how you would have done this one? Try this one. Did you get 6,300? How did you get it? All right, this one's a little more fun, a little more challenging. How would you do this one? Ah, here's how I would do it. 800 plus 200 gives me 1,000. 1,000 and 4,000 gives me 5,000. Then all that's left is 3. So the answer, 5,000. I know you've got this now. This is going to be super helpful when we start adding multi-digit numbers. All right, try this one. Did you get 7,620? All right, last one. You could do this one. Do you want to do this first or put these in first? Either way will work. 9,800. All right, that's all for today in our first lesson. I know this one went really, really kind of slow, but we'll pick up the pace in the next lesson. I really wanted you to understand and go slow. Make sure you get the first few lessons in this course. Because if you master those, the rest becomes super, super easy. If you're watching any of the episodes or the lessons out of order, you can do that. But you might get a little confused with one or two of them that need to go in the right order. Thanks for joining me. Um, hey, subscribe. Check this out. 
share it with somebody. I hope it's helpful. Stay tuned for extra sheets that can help you practice these too.